Alright, what's up good people? It's your boy LS back again with another video. So what we did in this video, we ordered another license plate for the bike. Let's see if it's going to be better than the last one that we ordered. Let's get into it. What's up y'all? Back for another video. Now this time, we ordered another license plate and I wanted to open it here live with y'all on camera. This one also came kind of quick. I'm trying to fill it in the package and see if I feel, I feel like it's gonna be another disappointment. If I'm, if I'm being completely honest. <clears throat> but let's open it up and see for sure. Um, <laughs> if this is the case, then we're gonna have to like, find somewhere other than Amazon to get our license plate. All right, so, okay. This, this I can get down with. I like this better. Oh, my fault. <clears throat> let, me, let me show y'all. Boom. So this, uh, I put it at Oh, damn. I put it at FLHX Glider 254 and I just changed the damn name. Motherfucker. But as you can see, this is on a plate. This is more like engraved versus anything else. I am going to have to order another one just because I, ch and that's my fault, cause I, I just changed the name. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, I mean, technically I wouldn't have to change it, but uh, if you compare these two men and you was like, hey man, if you want one or the other, which one would you want? I'm definitely picking this one 10 times out of 10, man, uh, possibly even more. Just because this is, just look at it, like it's a better quality. Like I said, that is engraved. Uh, water coming across is not going to, you know, remove that or anything. Now, whatever this is engraved on and then like stuck on the plate with that adhesive, I'm not sure. Uh, however, comma, uh, it does look to be decent. So not something that I'm really, really, really worried about. Um, yeah. So like I said, the only thing that I would probably have to change is like the top license plate thing. And like I said, I might not even really, cause really the only thing that matters is the name of the bike. <clears throat> and that's shot of red. Now, even though that is a different hue of red, like I said, it's definitely better than than this, like, because this, look, look at this. Look at this, this is just vinyl on a license plate. <clears throat> this one, I think we pay like a little bit more, like $25. And with that one, I am, I'm definitely pleased uh, with that one. Like that's, that's quality, you know what I'm saying? That there is definitely quality, so. Uh, yeah, I guess we can go ahead and put, this one can go on a bike. This one is good enough to go on a bike. Like I said, I, I was thinking about ordering another one, but it's not that serious. Um, Yeah, like I said, it's not that serious. I don't even know what I would put like all the way across that to do it. Cause I mean, because of the length of it, because of the length and the width of it, like it wouldn't come across like that one. Where it's say like one and only, so. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm cool with it, man. Shot of red <clears throat> and then we gonna we're gonna rock it from there, but I'm gonna put the link to this one down in the um, description. 
box below that way that y'all can order make sure you get a good decent one versus this vinyl vinyl on a license plate thing like i mean don't give me like i'm gonna hang this up like matter of fact i'll probably sit it up there somewhere on the shelf or some on the wall or something just be like ooh, one and only shot of red but if you want something that's legitly going to last like this this is what you want do you want this because this is gonna last on the bike in the elements and all of that so all right so we're gonna go ahead and install this license plate bracket i don't have anything i don't have anything against the stock one it's just i guess you could say a little generic yeah <clears throat> let's go with generic it just it's a little generic you get it from a dealership and of course you know everything <clears throat> everything with these bikes man is about personalizing them and you know pretty much making them our own so that's what we want to continue to do with this one um but yeah shout out to shout out to horny toad harley davidson and temple uh with that but we gotta be our own person be our own man so we got the new license plates bracket this is gonna go across the plate i'm not one of them people like oh no you see my license plate and all that stuff like <clears throat> for me i feel like it's never that serious all right so i'll just go right there now i do notice i do notice that with that with this uh with these screws or reflectors on here it does cover up a little bit of the beginning of the license plate so that's something to keep in mind come on I don't know why I don't want to thread on there Stuff don't never go as smooth as it's supposed to when you're recording it live. I don't know why. It just never does. Never, ever, ever. All right. All right. So we got that left side on. It's the right side. And I mean, and actually, depending upon the angle, depending upon the angle that you look at it, like you really can't even see what's on the top. <clears throat> so, technically, the most important thing is the bottom that does say shot it red. So, yeah. But we'll take our old license plate, we'll toss it in the drawer. Thank it, thank it for service. And then there's a new plate, shot of red. Yeah, I do have the skew shot of red. Shot of red is dirty, but along with that, we're about to do some work. Well, not some work, but we're gonna do another mod and then we'll get her cleaned up. Uh, as soon as I find the box of goodies. 
All right, so what we about to do is we about to replace this here. And honestly, I mean, I ain't gonna like, I kind of like the little, the grill look on there, <clears throat> but we are gonna replace it with this one, which lights up because who doesn't like more lights? So we're gonna pull this front fairing off and then uh, pull the oven out, put, put the new one in. And then after that, we can, <clears throat> after we get that installed, we can wash up the bike. So, yeah, yeah. Cause as you can see, we've been riding, sliding out hiding. And you can tell, cause it's dirty. So, it's long overdue. Let's get it. <clears throat> All right, so we got the first thing down you can see all our maestro stuff in there amp all that stuff in there uh the plug that you're going to want to locate is going to be up here in the upper left hand side and then i'm gonna just turn the key on just to test it how it's going to light up that's what it's going to look like just to make sure that the light is functioning as it should which it is there's <clears throat> probably nothing worse than doing all of that only to have the light not work. <clears throat> so we'll be, like I said, we'll be removing this one here out of the fairing. And then we'll put the new one in. Attaches with 3M tape. <clears throat> uh, and it says the set time is like, or the full curing time is like 40 or 24 hours. So we won't be riding it today, but we're gonna go ahead and get it put in there. All right, so we got the got the piece in there. Like I said, there is a little bit of a, an offset of how it fits that I'm not 100% happy with, but uh, it's, it's all good, it's all good. I'm pretty sure there are other companies that make it and I may look into it down the line if I want a better fitting piece but that's where we at for right now so let me just show you what it looks like there you see the lights there the lights up matter of fact let me turn the light off so you can see it even better well I guess not off, but better. <laughs> All right, so key on. Yeah, so it's a nice, nice little look. Additional light, you can see it's additionally coming down the road. Uh, it's not <clears throat> really a giving light, not like the, like the lights down here at the bottom and here, like they add to the visibility of the road, whereas that light up there is just, you know, accent light. So, like I said, not bad. Uh, it achieved what we wanted it to do. And, uh, you know, Take it from there. Take it from there. Uh, till the next time. Uh, like I said, now I'm finna. Probably, I don't know, because I didn't. I didn't get to do the the oil change last time, so. I guess I could take it around a little bit, change the oil, wash the bike, and then go from there. But at the same time, I don't wanna jeopardize anything with this piece up here. So I might just kinda wait. Wait 24, 24 hours and see. I really don't. I really don't know that I have much faith in that holding. So I'm gonna give it the best chance to cure and do what it needs to do 
for that part there. Uh, and then, like I said, on the back side, we'll just uh, try to reinforce it any way that we can. But if it fails, if it don't sit right the way that we need it to, we'll yank it off, put the, uh, I'm guessing that this is a stock one. It can go back in there or we can look into an alternative alternative one well, like i said i did notice that on this one there are these little clips right here or little so in addition to the in addition to the 3m you could also put like the little clips to help it stay inside of the fairing so i guess at this point that's my only concern is that it's <clears throat> that it may or may not stay in the fairing the way it's supposed to but um only time will tell only time will tell at this point <clears throat> so yeah, yeah so tune in for the next one man like i said keep it real keep riding keep riding keep it real and we out gone all right, one last thing before I go, man. I was looking at the the difference between the between the 19 and the 21, and I was just looking at this at the actual sidewall, technically, uh, which it looks like you have more sidewall. Um, so about an inch and a half a sidewall where on this one your actual sidewall looks to be smaller than this 19 which is about an inch so you go from about an inch to an inch and a half a sidewall, it looks like. In my rough comparison from the rim, from the rim to the edge of the, this right here, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so. Will that affect the ride? I'm pretty sure, or has it affected the ride? Because we did already do the first ride review. Uh, I don't know that it's that per se, but it could be. It could be related. <clears throat> Definitely could be related. Uh, yeah. So we're just gonna be around in the garage, like I said, trying to get my <clears throat> trying to get my bike toolbox or tool bag back together which is this over here uh it was kind of complete it was kind of complete and and now it's not so we just need to get all of the all of the difference especially these uh Especially these these wrenches here. Make sure that we have everything in this spot as it belongs going forward and then make sure that everything goes in a bag. That way in the event that you do need it, uh, they are where you left them at. So T25, that's that one. So yeah, that's what's gonna be comprised of today um we're gonna get this video up for y'all and take it from there man appreciate y'all for watching gone